Hello everyone, it's me ASM Arivu welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the editing process of this type of photography. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. At first, you should press the controller command J. This one control for the Windows and command for the Mac. So just remember this one. I am using here for the Mac version and just convert it into the command and control control for the Windows. Those who are the Windows user. Okay, uh, I just made a copy like that and after that going to the filter and camera filter i do like to use that because of camera filter is convenient to use and all the setups in your hand and you can easily make your photograph amazing so let's start here in the basic panel i'll just make this one into the like here temperature into the cool tone and after that here the tint you can make this one like that that's good exposure i'll increase a little bit and highlight i'll make it down and here exposure and contrast i'll increase like that from here here is the shadow if you increase the shadow shadow will be like that and for that here some grain appears i'll go to the detailing options from here noise reduction and then color noise reduction so color noise reduction should be like that noise reduction should be like that okay that's good if you want to keep the uh, noise you can keep it it's totally your choice okay that's good going to the curve tool and select the curve like that and making this one like that that's good going to the calibration options here is the blue primary hue and saturation hue hue which color will be and the percentage of the color is the saturation so here is the hue you can use this hue like that okay i'll make this one and green primary should be like that okay that's fine and the red primary should be like that that's good and now we are going to the color mixture color mixture is important thing because of you are getting all the colors over there hue saturation luminance hue which color will be it defines with that and the saturation the percentage of the color luminance intensity of the color so at first I'll go to the saturation and orange saturation I'll make it a little bit of down and hue of the orange I'll make it a little bit of red type that's cool let's see the before one and after one so we are getting change over there from the basic panel I'll go to into the DH options okay that's that's good and the texture I'll make it a little bit down okay that's fine and now again going to the color mixture and then all the colors so here the blue i'll make the blue into aqua from the hue panel and here i'll make it like that so that's good and from the basic panel i'll go down to the vibrance options and saturation i'll make it up that's good and from the curve tone or tone curve whatever it is i'm going to the here red tone curve i'll make the like that okay that's good from the basic panel i'll make it more cool tone and then i'll go into the color mixture again and now the blue hue i'll make like that and the purple hue like that and here the aqua should be like that and the saturation aqua will be like that and the luminance will be like this so a little bit not too much from the color grading let's go to the color grading here is the shadow which color of the shadow it defines with the shadow color grading and the mid tone and the highlight that means you are getting three things for your color grading one is the shadow another one is the mid tone and the highlight so shadow darker area is the shadow and here the mid tone is the less highlighted area like uh, under the chin and here some little bit of shadow but not too much shadow and the highlight the lightening area of the photo that's good here at first shadow i am adding some saturation of the hue that means the shadow what color will be the shadow yeah the blue environment so it could be like that yeah that's good and the mid tone mid tone adding some 
saturation and here the mid tone should be like that yeah that nice and highlight highlight will be let's define the highlight yeah that's the nice highlight okay that's good and then going to the here effects options little bit of vignetting i'm heading over here and here i'll increase the contrast yeah that's good before and after so we got more noise reduction so noise reduction color noise reduction and noise reduction i'll decrease from the basic panel i would like to use the texture down and clear it a little bit of down so from the detailing options adding a little bit of noise not too much not upper than the 20 or 30 that's good and now calibration so going to the blue calibration should be like that so i want to use this type of color that's good let's see the before one was like that and after one like that that's fine and now save this one before that going to the basic options adding a little bit of warm so it looks like uh, the natural one that's good and hit the ok button so we are getting the before one and after one layer that's fine and going to here now going to the levels options from here i'll making it a little bit of like this and a little bit of like this that's fine and now going to the here color lookup options and lots of color features over there those are those are the color loots LUTs and from here i'm using the fuji that's good actually the cinematic mode i want to keep like that and a little bit up down so i made the levels opacity and the here the fill color made it down and now going to here going to the gradient map so i would like to use a gradient map like cyan type combination that means in a highlight and the shadow should be what should be so here i would suggest to keep this one into cyan like this okay that is blue that is the cyan and another one i'll make this one into the darker portion so cyan darker or the difference like this that's good and hit the ok button and now i'm going to the blending mode and making this one soft light i'll change up so one should be the darker one so i'm making this one black type like that yeah that's good the soft light is good and now i'll make this one opposite down and the fill down so before and after that's good and now here going to the curves options so i'll make the curve like this and like this lock it up and making this one a little bit up like this that's nice so highlight area will be like that and you are getting all the stuffs according to like this so here again going to the photo filters finally i would like to use like warm tone and like that so here before and after so you're getting the warm and cool combinations over there so let's see what was into the before image so before one was like that after one you're getting like that so you're getting totally different type of cinematic mood which is like a, a like cyber type tones and this one was like a warm tone here is no contrast but here you are getting the contrast like blue and orange and cyber type combinations so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any sort of questions query requests please do comment on my video comment section until the next video is signing out today stay safe stay healthy keep me in your prayers bye bye